Hi there, I'm Megan Hepner, creative editor for Creating Keepsakes magazine. Recently I was creating a layout using vintage ribbon that I found at an antique shop and I loved the look and I of course ran out of the ribbon because it can be hard to find. Sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you score things like this uh, antique lace or this really cool retro ribbon, but they are um, few and far between. Check your consignment shops, yard sales, antique stores. But if you don't find any or you don't find exactly what you need, all hope is not lost. You can actually age or give an aged look to your own fibers and fabrics that you have at home. Natural ones work better. So if you have the synthetic, they may not work as well with the techniques we're going to show you as your natural as well. Um, what I want to show you are three ideas for aging and antiquing your different fabrics and fibers. The first one is using some tea. Yes, just the kind that you would drink at home. It's called tea dyeing. Um, just a basic black tea works really well, but you are going to use a higher concentration of the tea than you would probably drink to, or enjoy. So in uh, the case of an 8 ounce glass, rather than just putting in one bag of tea, you're going to want to use two. The reason for that is you'll get a deeper and richer color and it will dye your fibers better. So just boil, boil the water like you normally would, fill up your cup, dip in two tea bags and let it sit for about 5 to 10 minutes and really soak into the water. Then you can set the tea bags aside and reach for your fibers or your lace. So to give you an idea, here's a, a dyed lace as an after and here's a before. You can see that it really takes color nicely. In this case, we're going to do some fabric strips. So what you'll do is take your strip and go ahead and just put it right down in the tea. You'll want to have a towel or something nearby and keep in mind that of course, uh, your water will be boiling hot, so use a spoon or something to put that down in there and be careful of your hands. And then from here, you can do one of two things. You can leave it in for about 15 minutes to an hour, or you can leave it in overnight. It just depends on how dark and rich you want your color. So here is the before, and here is after 15 minutes, roughly 15 to 30 minutes. And then here is after overnight. So you can see it's a little bit darker here and a little bit more even coloring throughout the strip. And different fibers and fabrics will take the color differently. So it's not going to be identical to my results. You'll want to do a little trial and error and see what your outcomes are. But definitely it's a big difference between the before and the after as far as that aged color goes. So that's a really quick way using supplies you probably have in your kitchen cupboard already to get some aged coloring. Another way is um, moving into the scrapbook room and supplies you have there. One of them is your ink pad. So just take a basic dye ink in a, an aged color. This one's called Vintage Photo. It's a Tim Holtz ink by Ranger. And take your strand. And you can do this one of two ways also. You can just go ahead and put the strand right down on the ink pad like this because it isn't super juicy because it's a dye ink. And just press it with your finger and the color will start to take on the fiber. You can see that's happening here. Or if you want a little bit more control over where the color is applied to the strand, put your strand down on your work surface, grab a sponge or an application tool. You can either use one like this or one of the fingertip sponges, it doesn't matter. Um, apply your color and then just add it to your fiber where you want it to go. So that's using just um, ink from your stamp stash or you can use spray ink. Spray ink's a little trickier only because you have less control with the outcome. I'm going to show you what I mean. So spray ink is just a liquid color medium and you can color anything, paper, chipboard, or in this case fibers and ribbons. Um, I've done two different options here on one strand to give you kind of a comparison. So this first area is really saturated. I took it and just really sprayed um, a strong concentration right here and you can see it pretty much just recolors the, the fabric or dyes the fabric. So it's not so much aging it really, it's just kind of changing it. So if you want it to match your project and you have a blue project and blue spray ink, that would work really well. If you want it to have more of that cream with um, the color over the top so you can see that it's kind of wearing and getting older, do a lighter mist. So down here you can see that the cream is showing through with just a speckling of the brown over top. I wouldn't do both on one strand like this. It's just going to give you a comparison of how you can use your spray ink to color your fibers. So don't worry if you're on the hunt for old and aged products from one antique shop to the next and you just can't find it. The resources are probably right there in your own home and you can create fantastic results. When you're done, pour yourself a cup of tea and enjoy.